Coming up in today's video, we're going to be taking a first look at the new AEW stage design. Also, we're going to talk about some contract stuff going down in WWE and AEW. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button. This right here is the first look at the new AEW stage design. This image is floating around on Twitter. As you can imagine, fans are starting to get into the arena. And of course, AEW is taping dark. Uh, so this is exactly what I expected. If you follow this channel, I did tell you guys that AEW is going to be a little bit more WWE-esque in their presentation. And uh, I think some people might actually be expecting me to hate this. I actually like it. I do like the Vertical Trons. I think Vertical Trons are great. I loved it when Impact Wrestling used to do it. Um, and then actually some really interesting things to note when you're looking at this image. It appears that the commentary table is going to be remaining in the same spot as normal. Um, but the tunnels are gone. There are tons of screens. And if you look in the middle, it looks like uh, instead of tunnels, there still will be like a heel and babyface entrance that wraps around um, right near the center. But yeah, this is exactly what I expected from AEW. And this is exactly what I was talking about when it came to AEW presenting a new presentation. The idea is they have to have a little bit more of a mainstream appeal. This is definitely going to be a way to do so. I know a lot of fans were thinking that maybe AEW might pull off something creative like the old WCW Nitro uh, entrance stage and everything like that. But I did not expect that um, from a lot of people that I actually spoke to. Uh, there is this belief that AEW was making a major presentation change, and it's for all the right reasons, so I don't blame them. I don't hate it. Um, one thing I do want to point out as well is typically AEW would have some sort of stuff on the ring mat. Um, obviously, this is AEW Dark, so that is something to pay attention to. It might look a little bit different once it comes time to actually taping Dynamite once they go live on the air, but... Nonetheless, I actually kind of like it. Um, of course, something more creative could have been done, but I think this is a great thing. It's going to make AEW look better on TV. I am excited to see what it actually looks like on TV too, and I feel like I could probably gauge a better uh, opinion on that based on how we see it presented on TV. Of course, lighting and sound design and camera angles and all that stuff will definitely you know, play a factor, but ultimately, I do think it looks pretty good. Now I want to talk about the Young Bucks because according to Fightful Select, it does appear that the Young Bucks are talking new contracts with AEW. Now keep in mind, the Young Bucks are talent as well as executive vice presidents for the company. So this is going to be a very interesting time period for AEW, especially when you consider how valuable the Young Bucks are to the AEW brand, to the AEW business side of things. Um, and then obviously they're very, very big stars uh, for the AEW audience. So in the event that AEW does extend them, does keep them for an extended amount of time, I think it could be good for AEW. With that being said, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be negative towards AEW for possibly keeping the Young Bucks and whatnot. But ultimately, uh, you know, I think you got to look at the tag team division. You got to look at that trios division. You got to look at everything that AEW is doing right now when it comes to television and booking. There are a lot of talent that need to be used. And I think if Tony Khan plays his cards right, if they have these teams going up against the Young Bucks and meaningful storylines, you can get a lot of tag teams over or a lot of trios over, um, which should ultimately be the goal if you're AEW. The goal should always be how can we use our most famous talent? How can we use our most notable talent? How can we use our most uh, you know, experienced talent? How can we use them with new faces? And uh, like Jericho beating action or... You know, Action Andretti beating uh, Chris Jericho, you know, it, it would be cool at some point in 2023 if there could be an up and coming team that could defeat the Young Bucks. Um, now, obviously, I want to talk about this, too, because, you know, WWE is out and about. They're signing people. We know WWE and Triple H at one point in time had a lot of interest in bringing them in. But I think it's important that a lot of people understand that more than likely the Young Bucks will be staying put with AEW. I don't see any reason for them to leave. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things, you know, realistically, when you look at AEW and what they've done in three years, a lot of it is due. A lot of the success is due to the elite, the Young Bucks, Cody Rhodes, right? These were the guys who started the company. Losing them could be a big blow to the company. And I think Tony Khan knows that. So I think money and maybe more control. I don't know. But I, I think Tony Khan understands that AEW was built on these people. We saw how AEW started to struggle after Cody. 
And I'm sure Tony Khan wants to avoid that, obviously, with the Young Bucks. So definitely some interesting stuff there. Now for our final topic of today's video, guys. William Regal is back in the WWE. We knew that he was leaving AEW. We've talked about it several times. I've given you guys my opinions on William Regal leaving AEW. But a lot of people have been wondering, what is the play for when he goes to WWE? And there's two different parts of this that I want to speak about. The first one is his role. Um, so now we know that William Regal is back in WWE, according to PW Insider, he is the talent vice president of development, vice president of talent development, okay? Uh, this was according to PW Insider. He started today, January 4th, this morning. Um, obviously, being vice president of talent development is a very big role. Obviously, with NXT having a ton of new talent there from all walks of life, William Regal is going to be very essential to the growth of the NXT program. I'm also very glad that William Regal is back in NXT and not the main roster. I felt like he could have been used fine on the main roster, but ultimately, William Regal in NXT, it's like this. So it's very important. The second thing that we need to acknowledge is William Regal being on screen. Because I don't feel like I've ever talked about this enough in depth. When William Regal was granted his release, his exit from the company... There was this deal that was kind of put into place that Tony Khan and AEW would let him leave. Tony Khan understood the family aspect of it all. Obviously, Charlie Dempsey's in NXT. He understood the idea of William Regal going back to NXT. And while Tony Khan says that he wouldn't do this for absolutely everybody, he was willing to do it right for William Regal. It came with a clause, and that is William Regal cannot be on screen for a year. Now, January 4th, 2023 means, obviously, one year from now, it would be January 4th, 2024. Would WWE bring William Regal back into the company as a general manager? Quite honestly, it doesn't really make or break the product. It would be cool, but it doesn't make or break the product. It really matters what they do with him behind the scenes. That's where William Regal was the most beneficial. That is the most important thing for WWE right now is making sure behind the scenes things are getting taken care of. I genuinely believe that part doesn't matter. But of course, it's important to mention it because I think a lot of people were reading this and, and thinking like, oh, well, what about that, that non-TV clause? As of right now, it's there. Can Tony Khan have a change of heart? Can Tony Khan say, ah, screw it? You know, maybe William Regal gets pitched a really good idea, goes to Tony Khan and says, look, man, like, can we just make this work? I don't know. But as of right now, don't expect to see William Regal on TV. Now we know his official role. I'm excited to see what happens. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you want more videos like this, click that subscribe button, ring that bell. This way you stay notified with everything going on in pro wrestling. Thank you for watching.